Yes, girl. We all we. We all in Philly. Try one. Try one gun. Try one gun. That's it. Six of us. More wadi. Yes. And we are going to get a little tuk tuk cabby cab thingy uh, to our hotel. And we're going to go speak to a little bit. Yes, girl. Love that plan for us. Hey guys, so we are now in our new rooms and um, in our separate rooms that we've checked into. I want to give you a little bit of a room tour, but I just wanted to show you around. So there's a few of these um, individual rooms going further down, and then this is just look at the the roof and the architecture. Just love it. Um, let's take a, a look around. So, double bed, it's, it's cute, just everything that I need. I'm gonna put my suitcase over here. And then, what I think is really cute is this. It's an outside shower and bathroom actually. Because if I step down, the shower is over here. And then, turn around, little toilet, little wash basin, little mirror. Ooh, tuck in the rolls. Because she's a girly girl. Yeah, so. I mean, I don't know what to say anymore because I'm just having such an amazing time. Um, we're going to freshen up, just have a rinse off because we're in the pool. And then we are going to be um, riding a bike, taking an um, explore a little bit around the, um, the island. And then we are snorkeling at around four or five. So, yeah. Exciting! Tomato. Yeah. <laughs> snorkel. <laughs> what is up my people? So quick update. Um, it is just before nine, Sunday, the third of March, and I'm dressed. Got a little black fit on. Um, yeah, comfortable slacks and my sandals. Um, I just felt like wearing black 
my one of my favorite colors to wear as well so yeah island style hair is definitely not straight <laughs> so unless you're blessed with a really nice straight hair um, you're gonna struggle in on the islands because the minute you hit the door like five minutes you start sweating and things is not the way it looked when you were in your room so I showered last night I plaited my hair and then my curls my natural curls um, just came through you know thanks mom and dad um, and then I just touched up my friends and that's probably uh, not going to look this way for long but at least it looks good for now okay I'm snacking on some granola that we bought at one of the side markets and some jungle juice pineapple jungle juice because I was tired of drinking water so yesterday I just wanted to tell you about yesterday um, the snorkeling experience I conquered one of my fears and that is I have, I'm claustrophobic right I don't like confined spaces I don't like feeling like like I can't breathe so yesterday was quite a scary moment for me because going deep into a, in the in open water and being underwater all the time um, I was afraid and I practiced I bought me a, a snorkeling kit at home and I did I think one session and I felt comfortable and then um, yesterday was totally different because we had the, f um, the flippers on that's what they call um, I also don't know all the terminology um, and then that is obviously supposed to help help with the kicking uh, my friend Ken and I decided opted for the life jackets because because it's open water our boat was on one side and we needed to swim away from it so it meant that we needed to keep swimming the whole time and I was afraid that I was going to get tired even though I'm a good I'm a really good swimmer I love swimming um, I was just I was just in my mind so we did it and I stayed on top of the water I didn't go deep um, into the water we went to three spots and we saw this beautiful beautiful romantic um, statue and um, it had all these little um, these couples like in a circle and there were people at the bottom and stuff and some of the people were more um, uh, brave where they didn't wear their life jackets and they went deep down and stuff like that so it was really awesome but tiring because swimming that entire time was really tiring so um, yeah I conquered a fear so the, the first fear I conquered was the, my fear of heights when I went into the swing in a boot and now this fear um, of snorkeling and it felt so amazing face your fears and don't be scared we're about to take a ferry um, our ferry leaves at 10 30 um, to back, back to uh, Bali the main island and um, we're going to spend the rest of our days in Bali in and around Bali um, so we're getting off this island so our ferry leaves and we need to make sure that we're there an hour before the time so we're checking out and yeah See you soon. Let's go. Yeah, right. Air condition on the main body island. This vessel is really, really great to travel in. Um, air condition, nice seats, comfortable, um, and a speedboat as well. So happy to be back on land. It took us about an hour and a half. It was a 30 minute wait in, in a different island because we needed to pick up people. So, yeah. it's too awesome. This is separate, a rice and the meat is separate. This is this is this one's really good. Because this is like the rice with all of the meat there and I think you get like the pieces of roasted pork. Okay. So um 
Who's the, is this enough for, not, is this for one person? Like this? Oh, I see, okay. <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm back at the Sun Hotel in Kuta in Bali. It's the same hotel we started our holiday in and um, I'm just making me a cup of tea because we traveled the entire day. We took the ferry ride out and um yeah basically traveled from the Gili Tea Island we had to stop a few times to collect other people and then uh, made our way to the port back in on the mainland in Bali I and after that we met our driver Gusti who has been so amazing um, this entire trip it's really great to have a contact when you travel I think it's um, if you're unsure of places to go and what's the best thing to do it's really nice to have a contact like we had um, during this time uh, to actually tell you what is the best place to go organize things for you uh, and Gusti has been amazing even while we were on Gili Tea he arranged a snor the snorkeling uh, excursion for us as well gave us a contact and we got it at a good price everything is way cheaper than I expected we did have a budget for every single day so we stuck within that budget and we negotiated as well so yeah we had lunch at a authentic Indonesian um, restaurant. It was really homey. Um, they specialize in pork and we were in the mood for crunchy outer layer, skin of the pork, like roasted pork. Um, because it's Sunday, I, I suppose we were, we felt like having like a Sunday lunch. And yeah we we enjoyed that the restaurant was really busy it was buzzing with all the the people in and out uh the locals that were that are from the surrounding areas that came in got the meals we had this beautiful um coconut milk uh well coconut water it's very really different to what uh we get sold back home uh, it's not as sweet it is um, really uh, really just it's just has a, a light flavor to it and yeah we we enjoyed that um, the dish was served with rice and pulled pork and vegetables and all of those things and then after that we needed to drive out um, to to where our hotel is and that was another hour and a half so my body's tired um, traveling is really amazing but it is exhausting as well and it, it, it's taken its toll on me today so what we try to do uh, during our stay is do an excursion and then relax for one day do another excursion and then relax another day or at least have an afternoon of rest um, so that we're not just going all the time and yeah because it isn't hol a holiday after all as much as we want to see as much um the things here in bali we also want to relax and and go home feeling refreshed so yeah so the, there's no plans for tonight uh, we had a big late lunch and so we'll probably snack on our leftover food and just chill it out for the rest of the night uh, maybe take a night swim and yeah we're seeing we're seeing the elephants tomorrow we're doing an, an elephant excursion and maybe eating the markets after that we'll see so yeah I thought I'll just fill you in as to what's happening but for now I just want to sleep and relax The 
it is what's today monday and uh we just um fleshed up and we spent the day at this amazing private beach um in this location is a few hotels on the strip and so um we were it was recommended for us to be a white sand blue ocean island vibes and there were a few other guests at the hotel and um that that popped in it wasn't too full uh there were, were beds that we hired for the day with an umbrella we tanned a little bit had some drinks and yeah now we're off so um every day we try to do something different today was our chill out day uh we just didn't want to do anything that was like high paced so we grabbed a taxi um and yeah we are about to get a taxi back to our hotel so fit is a little yellow dress with a sandal like i said it's no use even trying to blow dry my hair because what's the point i'm always wetting it and i'm always on the beach so on the beach <laughs> It is Tuesday, the 5th of March, and it's our second last day in Bali. And we're on our way to the elephant ride. We are going to be spending some time seeing elephants, um, walking around them, being in their presence. And we had to come to Bali to see the elephants, right? Because it's just one of the things we need to yeah, do. Yeah, it's nice. Ah. The beauty of this place is just amazing. This is the rice bed and you can see, look, just listen to that. Wow, how beautiful. Wow. That guy is just, what is he doing? Uh, he give like uh, something to make uh, rice uh, plant uh, good, like a poop. -up. I don't know in English what does it mean. Like a fertilizer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Make uh, the rice uh, grow up fast. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I don't know in English yeah, the name. We call it poop. -up. Poop. -up. poop -up. Yeah. Okay. This is Gusti. Hi. <laughs> and Gusti has been taking us around all over, giving us the, the best places recommendations, taking us to the amazing places to let us see the real Bali. Um, and so everything it is recommended has been top, 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 top. Um, so yeah, it's Thank it. you. <laughs> um, we've had an amazing experience here. And so, yeah, we're going to experience the elephants now and, and yeah, see what that is all about. I'm so excited and yeah, we can't wait to see um, and experience and be around those amazing creatures. I did. Just for and Richard Branson. Yes, Richard Branson. Wow. Nice. Australian supermodel of the year. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well known. Mm -hmm.
the last one. Okay. Hello. Wait. Catch it, Senza, when I catch it. Hello. He's <laughs> Oh, it's tsunami! <laughs> wow! No, wow! Are you are you getting that beer wow. on the on the video? Like, wow! This guy, he's been drinking beer a lot. He has been been tank. <laughs> <laughs> We're on the back of an elephant, guys. So if the Hello, video is a bit how wobbly, you? how are you? How are you? Good. <laughs> Good. Okay. You've been red elephant before. Me no. Yeah. First time for me, but <laughs> she has. Okay. Well, not here in Thailand. Yeah. And it feels like the first time. What you South, South Africa. Africa. Waka, waka. Ooh, waka, waka. <laughs> we won't fall. We won't fall, eh? No. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so high and oh wow. Amazing. I know. So wow, I know. <laughs> Lots of elephants. We have. We have flat. We are still mating. Yes, I but see. But now they stand up uh, for the rest. Mm, it's okay. 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 <laughs> every elephant, every boy elephant. Yes. Okay. Okay. So those are boys. Chill that. You live in the city? Yes. In the city, yes. We are literally like in the jungle. In the jungle. Okay. This one also wants one. Let me give a carrot. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Can you help me? Can you help me feeding it? Yes, I took a photo. I'll record you now. Please. So I'll feed this one. Okay. Because I don't know. Because they are so excited. Wow. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's not. Okay. Oh. Yeah. You have to take it the other way. Yeah. You don't want this one? Yeah. Okay. You don't want that one? She doesn't know which way to <laughs> take it. She's stuck. Yeah, she wants fruit. Fruit. Oh, she wants fruit. Yeah. yeah. Ah. Oh my gosh. Is she happy? Okay. Baby. Okay. Yeah. Baby goat, thank you. Baby goat, thank you. Maybe a Okay. Look at this one, wow. Ken. Give. This, one? this one wants another one, a banana. Okay, must I give a banana? Give a banana. Okay. Here you go. Banana. There you go, baby. Ooh, thank yeah, you. <laughs> Finish now. Oh dad, oh dad. Uh. Uh. Okay, you know. Okay, okay. Okay. Wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay, let's the ball. The ball. It's the ball. Okay, one, two, three, one. Not too close. Not too close. Okay. When you're getting food, don't too close. Can this what you're eating? Uh, dim sum. Dim sum? Yeah. Steamed dim sum? Yes. Okay. Can you see? Let's go. Give it a try. 
the chicken filling, eh? Delicious! Mm, let's see. Wow! Looks like um, chicken in roti. <laughs> oh, it's very good. So I'm gonna have the dim sum. I've only had it. I've had this when I went to China. Mm -hmm. And then my cousin's mother-in-law mm -hmm. made it every morning for breakfast. Oh, wow. But she would make smaller ones. So she would actually like make it from scratch. Make it from scratch. And it was warm and it was fluffy. Dry, fluffy. So it's the first That's time. Good. So this is it. We've been walking past the store that has it and I've been saying we need to try it. Because I miss the flavors. It's good. Okay, let's give it a go. Mmm. Mm. It's good because the bun is like sweetish. Mm. And then the chicken in the inside, like the savory. Mm. A little bit of spice. It's almost like, mm. you know, when you have it. We got a few store-bought um, snacks and we wanted to try out this one. Well, I wanted to try it out. Um, it looks like it's sushi, but it's actually not. So um, it has this paper wrapping over it and I need to, needed to open it up. But when I opened it up, I discovered it was only rice. And then Ken was showing me uh, that the... The seaweed is actually in between the two plastic pieces so I needed to unwrap that and then once I unwrapped that I re-wrapped the, the white rice uh, it has a filling and um, it was actually very good I just needed some soy sauce um, and I was quite impressed the fact that it was like street food and the filling was if I remember correctly, it was like a chicken and mayo, which is weird because normally we think sushi would be fish, but this was chicken. Ken took a bite and she enjoyed it too. So yeah, street food is cool in Bali. So we chatted for hours around the pool. We did a lot of swimming, a lot of snacking. Um, we ate whatever was left of our food. And then we started dancing and um, the pool was closed at this time so we were playing our jams and I can't play it because of YouTube, YouTube's copyright um, license uh, rules so we were just having the best fun believe me that we were definitely having some fun on our own um, and I was teaching Candace some of she wanted to learn a routine and I showed her one or two steps and yeah, we need to pick up that practice again. But it was lots of fun. It's about that time, in a minute. <laughs> As the time is arrived for us to get back home. I'm packing up my final, my last bits of things that needs to go in the suitcase. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I am I'm quite excited to get back home. We've had an amazing time in Bali. It's been adventurous. I've done things that I never thought I could. And yeah, I'm just, um, but I'm ready to get back into normal life. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, if you had told me five years ago, Cindy, you're going to Bali in 2024, I would be like, you're smoking your socks, dude. Um, like you're on some cheap medication or something. Um, I, I never thought I would ever be here, ever. Like, really. I definitely can say I'm not the person that I used to be five years ago. I have learned so much about myself. I had to re reach rock bottom in order to make changes in my the life. The only thing that was missing from this trip was definitely my kids and my family. I wish that I could have shared this experience with them, but I'm going to. My next trip is going to be with my kids and hopefully the rest of my family as well. My closing that I want to end with is don't give up on your dreams. Don't lose hope.